Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see how to integrate the ESLint in the code editors. So why we need to integrate the ESLint in the code editors means, for example, see you are developing a project and you have a linter in that project and using that linter. So for example, when you are going on working on the project and if you want to check the linting errors and all those things, what you will try to do, you will type the command npm run lint. Now, after writing all the code, when you run this npm run lint, you will get a list of all the errors. That means you need to fix it again by going through the code. So in order to fix these errors at the end of the code, so when we are writing the code itself, if we get the if, we, if the editor shows you the linting errors, then it will be very nice, right? So we can we can fix the errors at the at the time of coding only. So for this reason, so we will be integrating the ESLint in our code editor itself. In this video, we will see how to integrate the ESLint in the Visual Studio Code and also the Atom code editor. I will be I will be showing you. If you want to use uh, other other editors, if you are trying to use means, if you want to integrate this ESLint means, you will be having an option the something like integrations. And in these integrations, you will be able to see for Sublime Text, Vim, Emacs, something like this is all the editors here they will be showing. So it will be very easy only. And here you will be able to see the Atom editor and also the Visual Studio Code. So first we will try to see it in the Visual Studio Code. Let's open the Visual Studio Code here. So I am opening the Visual Studio Code. So let it open. Now I have opened the Visual Studio Code. Now if you try to install this ESLint in the Visual Studio Code, you need to go to the extensions. In these extensions, just type for, just search for ESLint. If you search for ESLint in the extensions, you will be able to see here ESLint. Okay, so this is the thing. So you will be having around 15 lakhs of uh, downloads and this one is having around 4.5. This is the recommended one to, in, to install the extension. Now, if you try to see here, I have already installed this ESLint extension. Just you can click on the install. So right now, I am you will be able to see uninstall, but here you will be, if you are not installed means, you will be able to see the install. So as soon as you have installed this one, automatically ESLint at the down, you will be able to see this ESLint option. Okay. Now if I go to the get, get payments.json, here I am able to see some red color error C. It is telling that expected expression bar space or tab after something like that it is saying. So that means it, it so if you want to fix it, means you can directly click on quick fix like this. Okay. It has automatically fixed this space commented. Okay. So it has fixed this error. And here you will be able to see that unexpected console statement so console.log statement is not allowed why it is not allowed so it will automatically read this eslint rc.json for example if i make this one as off okay if i make this one as off let's try to see whether this one is console.log statement is showing error see automatically console.log statement has gone away error has gone away if i make it as error again it will come error c so i made it as error now if you go to the get payments automatically this one will show it as an error <coughs> So let it show an error here it will try to read so now if i save it again and if i come or otherwise if i yeah here see automatically the error came and if i move if i move over the mouse here it is telling that unexpected console statement it is coming from the eslint to no console and if you want to quick fix means just you can go here and here you can disable it okay so our, this is a one line thing so we will uh, i will show you this one line thing what is this one line so here quick fix and you can fix this or otherwise what I can do. So you can fix this parrot. Oh, oh sorry, this, this, this error, right? We need to fix it. Yeah, fix it. And here disable, disable for the entire file, show documentation for no console. Or otherwise quick fix means we can remove it directly. Okay, so those all things are not necessary for us. So I can remove it directly. And here another error is telling that get payments is deprecated. Use get latest payments it is saying. It is coming from Leela slash find payments okay so it is coming from there so what i can do here so i can do the quick fix here so fix this one so automatically it's, it shifted to get latest payments so like this we can be able to solve this eslint errors on the at the time of coding itself now if you go and run this npm run lint so no errors will be there so why because it is automatically reading from the eslint rc.json file okay so these are all the rules it is trying to read and it is trying to fix it oh so, uh, this is the thing how the Visual Studio code will be working. So you need to install this ESLint and automatically ESLint will read the ESLint RC configuration file and it will show you the errors accordingly. And the next editor what we will try to see is the Atom editor. Let's open this Atom editor. You need to go to the install in the Atom editor. 
So here you'll be, you need to search with the, for the ESLint and if you search for the ESLint, you will be able to see here linter iPhone ESLint. So this is the package which you want to install. So I have already installed this one in the Atom Editor. So here you'll be able to see the option install. So right now I'm able to see uninstall why because I have already installed this one. Now if you go to the, so if you are as soon as you install this linter iPhone ESLint, automatically it will read the ESLint rc.json file. Okay, so this will read this one and it will show you the errors accordingly. If you go to the get payments, now le let's try to write console.log this one. So if I try to write console.log, see it is trying to show you the errors automatically. So hi Leela, if I try to write hi Leela. So now if I if I try to write hi Leela, so it is showing you the errors. So what is the error it is showing you? Let's try to see. So now here down you will be able to see that error ESLint parsing error string concept failed okay so here we have written something wrong it seems so let's try to see yeah this is the error so now if you if you mouse over here you'll be able to see unexpected console.log you are getting it from the no console it is saying okay and also if you try to hover it here so it is telling the strings must be used single code so if you want to fix it means you can automatically fix it here like this and if you want to fix this console.log means you can automatically so there is no fix for this one so you should not you should remove this automatically so this is the way how you so here again it is showing you so fix the uh, block must be padded like this so you can automatically fix so this is the way you will be fixing the issues okay hope you understood how to install the what i can say eslint integration in the uh, visual studio code and also in the atom and if you want to if you are using another code editor like this means so you can also use these brackets and all those things if you are using means you can also use so intellij idea ruby web php storm so these all the things also you will be having a eslint plugin so you can also install in other in other editors also. Hope you understood about this one. So if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. And also please don't do, please also, please do follow my Facebook page also, Pilila Web Dev. It is, the link is provided in the description. Thank you.